I've done a million intros now about pins and I hate all of them. So I've got pins, they're epic, hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen, going on all things Disney. From house to parks and in between, come share the magic with me. La 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 la, la 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 la. Live your life to a Disney tune, come and share Jake's Disney Afternoon. Disney afternoon gang welcome back to my channel if you're returning here thanks for coming back and if you're new I do all kinds of Disney content including subscription boxes hauls trips vintage if it's Disney we're doing it so you're gonna want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure okay so I do have pins lots of them I feel like I stockpile pins and then feel like they're ready for video I don't know if it's because they're small I don't know but I've got some really great pins for you today. Um, but let me start off by showing this awesome bag I just picked up. Look how cool this is. So this is like the Mickey through the years, classic Mickey and um, Steamboat Willie and Fantasia. And I think one of those is, um, not the Sor Sorcerer's Apprentice, um, the Taylor's, uh, uh, the Swift Little Taylor. What's the one about the Taylor? Tell me in the comments. Um, sort of the dapper Mickey down there. Um, so yeah, different, um, there's Oz, well, sort of, sort of in between like Oswald and sort of Mickey, very early cartoon Mickey days. Um, yeah, so this was at, um, I've seen this on Shop Disney, you know, they always do like a bag or a tote or a thing that you can buy for X amount of dollars cheaper than if you have a purchase, but I wasn't really purchasing anything on Shop Disney. So um, I finally went to the Disney store today and they had them in stock. Um, they had opened up the second floor of my Disney store in Times Square and it was awesome. With some of the new merch that they had out, they've got a big collectible station uh, upstairs, but they had this bag and I wasn't sure where else to show it off. And I thought, why not put it here? Um, so this was normally $29.99. I got it for $16. I'm always going through backpacks, so this is going to get added to the collection. All right, let's get on with the pins. So let me start with the two things I picked up there. Um, two Legacy Collection pins, which I am a collector of. I've got them. Is it this side? Yeah. I think this whole side or most of this side. No, this side. Just kidding. Going all the way up are what I have started for the Legacy Collection. So the first one is the limited release of the 20th anniversary of Atlantis. Um, you got Kita and Milo on the front, and it's a nice size pin. Um, there's Atlantis kind of in a shimmery gold in the background. I'll post some clean pics, um, sort of side by side here a little bit, but. And then the other one I picked up is the 30th anniversary of The Rocketeer. <sighs> the Rocketeer is one of my very favorite movies. Um, I just, and I'm not, it's kind of a superhero movie, and but kind of not. I, it's a little more like Indiana Jones, which is a little more my style. So there you've got the classic um, silhouette and that sort of 1930s um, style. And then um, in addition to this, there was a second Rocketeer pin that they released that Louisa Ruby was kind enough to go back to World of Disney or wherever she was in Florida. She had picked up one for another friend and I was like, I want one. And she went back for me. I don't know where that pin is, Louisa. It came in the mail. It's here somewhere. I'm at the point in like my YouTube-ing where I've got like boxes coming in all the time and sometimes it's for content sometimes it's stuff i've bought for swaps sometimes it's actual swap boxes themselves um and just i gotta get a system going because like it's too crazy right now but it's here i've laid eyes on it i just couldn't find it so i'm gonna put a little swap uh, i'm gonna put a little picture right here for you another awesome rocketeer pin um but i wanted to make sure to shout out my friend louisa ruby because you're gonna check her out if you don't already, and she's just awesome. Um, that she would go back for me and get another pin, just love her. Um, so, dual Rocketeer pins. All right, moving along. This was, I was able to, I missed this 
on the D23, you know, exclusive buys when it first came out. I think I had just joined D23 and wasn't really aware of how to like be on the in the loop of those things. Um, but it's the Darkwing Duck. Is it the 30th anniversary? Yeah, celebrating 30 years of Darkwing Duck. I love like the glittery elements in like the POW symbol and him swinging in on the cape. Um, I did buy this off of eBay, but I bought it at cost that Shop Disney was selling it at, which is what I would have paid for it anyway. So once I found and it was free shipping, so I um, bit the bullet on that. But um, yay for some Disney afternoon shows getting some love. Um, I'm here for it. Yeah, so a super cool pin. All right, this next one is a button, actually. And I do collect the vintage buttons. I haven't really found a great way to display them. But this is a massive button for, from, like, the Grammy consideration. Not the Grammy consideration. The Academy Awards consideration. Um, it's this massive, very classic gold black uh button it says and the winner is beauty and the beast this may have been given out after i have to do a little more research into this but i mean you can kind of see how giant this button is i mean it's huge um and of course lumiere is one of my very favorite characters from beauty and the beast and this was only a couple of bucks on ebay so i had to pick that up and add it to the collection um that's that that's that okay then this Oh, it lights up. Okay, hold on, sorry. This is the Loungefly Oliver and Company pin. There was a bag released at the same time with this, um, basically the same de design, like this was the pouch and then the bag kind of went up and around like that. And I have to find that bag. Actually, it's not that I can't find that bag. They're on Macari, but they're like $300. Um, you know, I accept donations, but $300, I just can't justify on a bag. Someday I might break down and do it, but um, not today. Um, so I got the pin. I think I found this on eBay. Again, for less than it went for. It's a limited edition of 500. I took the plastic off. There's a little bit of a closer look. You've got Dodger and Oliver and Georgette, Francis and Tito, and it says light up. So let's just quickly see about this. Oh, yes. Look. You see the can you see the light behind the taxi sign? So like taxi on, taxi off. That's super cool. And it's like pin on, pin on, pin. Which makes sense because it would need to accommodate for the light back there. But you can see like the three. Yeah, there you go. You can see the three distinct layers. Um, awesome. I love these Loungefly limited editions. There's a Rescuers Down Under one that I really need to grab. Um... It was on sale on Loungefly for like 15 bucks some time ago, and I didn't buy it like an idiot. Just, you know, one of those rare moments where you're like, ah, do I need it? And then later you're like, it was $15, you idiot. Why didn't you buy it? Okay, so lastly, in my big epic pin haul, um, I have got an envelope from Fran over at Frantastic Pins. She does a live sale on, I don't even know when it is. I went to my first live sale. I've done live sales before, um, but I went to my first live sale with her. It was a lot of fun. The energy is good. They keep it moving. Um, they're on the West Coast though, so right around midnight 30, um, before they got to the merch section, I had to bail because I had to be up early the next day. But um, yeah, so sometimes it does go late because, you know, over there it's like nine o'clock or whatever. Um, but sales were good. Prices were good. The friendly chat was good. There was a bunch of us um, who knew each other there and that always makes it a lot of fun. So Fran, thank you for welcoming me and for being awesome. Um, this is, you've got Magic Mail and there are... Um, Thank you for a purchase. Please tag us on Instagram if you post. Uh, Mouseketeer Ravi, Fantastic Pins, and J. Cruz Pins. Um, I will have them tagged down below. You should check out the sales or don't let me have all the sales. No, definitely check out the sales. You will not regret doing this. They do some prizes and things. So let me start with the prize things first. Um, sometimes there's like stickers on the back of pins. Sometimes they do. There's a whole bunch of ways they do it. But 
So this is, is this adorable or something? Um, so this is Scrump, right? I don't even know. Is it Scrump? It's from Lilo and Stitch, right? Okay. So super cute little PVC figure. Um, then I got this, um, I love this print card, uh, Beauty and the Beast. This is the Thomas Kincaid uh, print and I just absolutely love it. Um, so that was kind of a fun little thing. And then this sheet uh, from Main Street, Main Street Creativity. It's an Aristocats sticker sheet. I love the Aristocats, um, you know, thrown in that vintage love, but you've got um, Berlioz, Marie and Toulouse and Thomas O'Malley and Duchess and then Roquefort and then, uh, you know, some sort of accoutrement of the um, little elements and icons from that film. So thank you for the bonuses. That was a nice surprise. And now let's get into the pins. I don't remember all the prices, but... <sighs> they were like, I mean, they do a couple different rounds. They do like under 10 pins. They do, they did, I don't know, 12 to $18 pins or something. Many reduced from like uh, original prices and things. And then they do a full few price things, but they're like newer things or limited things that, you know, um, they basically sell you at cost as opposed to getting them on eBay or something where people, you know, rob you blind. Um, so I thought that was nice. Um, so the first one I got was um, the the All-Stars um, Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. And then Queen of Hearts is my girl. Um, this was, I don't know if I did pay 10 but it's worth $10. Um, it has got croquet and it's got that shimmery element down there. I do love this series. I have at least one in this series and I've actually ordered a couple more. So I was happy to... Um, to get them and, I, and the croquet scene and Alice hands down the best and then uh, oh yeah so let me take this one out of the plastic so I got a couple that aren't part of my main collection partly just because I like the pin and that's partly how I collect pins and partly they were a good price um, and maybe they would make a good trader um, at the very least at some point um, oh, okay okay all right Falling to pieces. So this is one of those um, magic, what do they call it? Magic in the stars. It's like a flip around pin. So this is from, um, this is from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And so you've got, um, that's Dolly on the front. And um, then if you flip it to the back, You've got Esmeralda and Quasimodo. I'm not quite sure what the face Esmeralda is making is. Um, or I guess really the face that Quasi is making. Doing doing Quasi. Doing Esmeralda. We're not sure. But awesome, awesome pin. Um, okay, moving right along. Foot loose and fancy free. Okay, so these are so well packaged up. Also, um... All right, pardon the face, because uh, I'll come to that in a second. Um, I got the uh, uh, Disney Studio Star Hollywood, uh, sort of like Walk of Fame Ursula. I don't have a big Little Mermaid collection, kind of somewhere down there. I actually do have a fair number of pins. Um, Ursula is one of my very favorite villains, so um, I snatched this up. And then um, these. this is the magical... This was, so again, this was at cost because this was just released in the parks. Um, so I was already paying for shipping and they were just selling it to me for what they um, basically paid for it in the parks, which I thought was really nice. And this is the Magical Comics series, which I have a couple of, but um, this is Robin Hood. And Robin Hood's a thing I need to step up my game on. And inside it says, um, it's Prince John, it says, Handsome, regal, majestic, lovable. So there he is. Um, yeah, I need to step up my Robin Hood collection. And I just filmed something that does that. And that's all I'm saying. It's coming up soon. You're going to just have to stay and watch. But Robin Hood collection getting bumped up a little bit, including this one. So then this was in... 
Oh, it's a zap. Okay, I was like, I didn't buy this. Um, Worldwide Engineering Brigade. Web. I assume this is Spider-Man. Lauren, is this, Lauren, is this Spider-Man? Lauren, educate me. Lauren knows all the things. Um, superheroes aren't my, my jam. Um, but, I, but I think it is. Okay, moving on, moving on. We won't waste any. I think I got one more packet here. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. So, um, you know, one of my main collections is Peter Pan. So I did do some, oh, I forgot about this one too. So these are like all the under like 10 ones. They were seven bucks. Look, you can't go wrong. You know, a lot of them don't come with backer cards and things like that. None of that matters to me. Um, maybe for a couple of higher end things, I might be more concerned about that. But um, just to up my collection, we've got Hook and Smee. Um, I don't even know what series these are from, but they're charming. I loved it. Um, and then we've got Wendy, Michael, and John flying. It's like the 800th version of Wendy, Michael, and John flying. And they're all different, so we got to have them all. Um, but that's a really cute pin. These are possibly lounge fly. I'm not sure. And then finally, this is from that new series, the pets and chairs or something from lounge fly. And I got, um, copper from Fox and the Hound. I'm a hound dog. You're welcome. I'm a hound dog. Um, so cute. I, I was debating whether I wanted to collect this series because that was super whiny. Um, just because it's just another thing, but I kind of really like this series, so I may have to go get it. Um, but anyway, Fran, thank you for uh, hosting a wonderful event. I hope you'll check her out and um, buy some things. Add, you know, it's a great way to buff up your collection and to get things for big collections that you just kind of want more of um, because they offer great prices, great shipping. It got here super quick. Um, you know, within the week of the sale, any less than the week, I I had the pin. So, I mean, that's really fantastic. So um, tell me which was your favorite pin down in the comments if you had one or fill me in on some of the information I clearly was not aware of. Make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button, come back soon because we're doing some other swaps. I've got some vintage toys. I'm like looking at the pile of crap I still have to film me. Um, vintage toys, some swaps. Yeah, good stuff coming up. So until the next Disney afternoon.